very level-headed and, and realistic all season, saying that, that the first priority was always to retain your place in League One. Are you, are you surprised that it's gone down to the last two matches, or, or did you expect us to, to still be not mathematically safe? Um, I think that, um, you know, obviously there was a period in the season we never expected this. You know, the season's been, to a degree, a season of two halves, where um, we've had to endure a lot, but I think when you look at the season as a whole, in terms of, you know, the start of the season to now, we were really relying on 11 or 12 players for the vast majority of the, the first four or five months of the season. And then we've suffered on the back of that, that we didn't have a, a great enough depth to the squad and we've had to, you know, scramble a little bit to try and bring in the personnel. Uh, that side of the football club, we have to improve on the recruitment. Um, but, but, you know, what I do feel is that the work over the last 14 months has been uh, work that I think will allow this club to move forward in the coming years. And I think it's been vital work. But... Um, you know, if you'd said to me at the start of the season that with two games to go, you know, after what we did in during the summer and the, the embargo, that the fate would be in your own hands, then I'm sure we'd have grasped it. You talk about the future. Um, is that already firmly on your mind, even though you haven't sort of got that safety mark yet, or you're already planning and thinking about uh, players? You, you've got to plan. You know, you absolutely have to plan. Um, but you, you, you've also got to think of of several scenarios but uh, you know we've been planning for some time now and uh, and we'll continue to do that you know we just have to take care of our business this weekend uh, hopefully put things to bed and then really try and drive the club